You get yourself caught up in situations, mm -hmm. you know, things happen to you. So. Four years ago, 40-year-old Troy Hall was living the good life. I was a single man, no children, had my own house, own car, everything. In just one night, everything changed, and Hall ended up behind bars. I was 36 at the time, kind of late to play the jail game, right? Actually, I was getting off work, and my cousin picked me up from work, and I had the car. I was, he had a car, but, you know, he always had a car. But little did I know the car was stolen. We got pulled over. Hall was charged with several crimes, including possession of stolen property. He was convicted and sentenced to 11 and a half to 23 months in Philadelphia prison. I thought it was a joke. At that time, I thought it was a joke. Sometimes I still do. However, you have to look at Things like, well, everything's hap everything happens for a reason. When Hall was released in 2007, he went to Impact Services, a nonprofit that helps ex-offenders re-enter society. Jason Cosley, the ex-offender program director, says the justice system affects inmates long after they get out of prison. If you look at the way our criminal justice system operates, it's, it's from a punitive standpoint. So not only do you get to serve time, but again, in instances of public safety, a lot of barriers have been erected, such as access to housing, such as access to jobs. So it's kind of like an ongoing debt that you're paying. Studies show that the American prison system has revolving doors. Many of those who are incarcerated will find themselves back behind bars within one to two years of their release. Pew Charitable Trust published this study entitled Philadelphia's Crowded Costly Jail. Larry Eichel, a project director at Pew, says the big problem is finding jobs for ex-offenders. I know that the city of Philadelphia has had some programs recently trying to give businesses incentives, uh, tax breaks, uh, whatever, for hiring uh, uh, convicted criminals when they come out of jail. Um, and it, it has had limited success. Eichel says convincing businesses to hire inmates is a tough sale. Cosley agrees. He says it's easier to make money off the prison itself than to give ex-offenders a break. Dysfunction has always been a cash cow. You look at the, you know, the justice system, you look at the police force, you look at the uh, prison guards, you look at almost everybody profits off of someone getting incarcerated, except the individual, of course, that's getting incarcerated. Hall says he paid his debts to society and has moved on. But after years of hard work, he has finally pieced his life back together and vows that he will never, ever go back. It never happened. Not in this lifetime. I know who and what I am. You know, and I give myself options to the point where I'll take a fall, but I'll get back up. It is nice out here. For Fresh Outlook, I'm Cherry Greg Mincy.